to use the right key. Thank you. 
Well, there it is. Finally got around to making our gate screen door for this greenhouse we've got here. This is our second piece of the ventilation system. It's gonna let air flow through here during the hot summer months or the warm summer months. From where I come from, it's, this area is a warm summer. But it does get cooking in here. We've already had a couple days where it's been 80 degrees out and it gets pretty warm in here. Even having the chickens, I kind of worried about them being in here. We have the other piece of our ventilation system, which is our, our vent window up in the top corner. We have that propped open. So it, it lets the heat out, but it doesn't let air circulate. This is gonna let air circulate because we can keep this shut. It'll keep cats out, bigger animals, raccoons, porcupines. Most of those are nocturnal, but anyways, you get the picture. It'll keep most things out. I don't know how many squirrels can fit through this hole. I'm assuming some of the larger squirrels around here might not be able to, but we'll have to wait and see. Maybe I need to take and put something a little bit smaller over this gate. For now, most of what I'm worried about is my chickens getting out. I want to be able to leave the slide door open and have good ventilation through here this summer because I don't have a chicken coop and a chicken run yet. Now we're getting ready to pour the house slab, what, two days? So tomorrow I'm going to start working on a chicken coop. The next day I'm going to be pouring a slab, keeping up on it, making sure it's doing its thing and make sure it's nice and smooth and keep all the critters off of it so we don't have little paw prints everywhere. I don't mind having a couple paw prints in the floor if they happen, but I'd like to keep the majority of them off there. And then I'll have about a week after we pour the slab. I want to wait about a week before I start tilting walls up on it. As you know, we want a very smooth concrete slab because that's going to be the inside floor of our house. And I tend to build my walls on the slab. I built my walls right in here and tilted them up. So I want to build my walls to my house on my slab. I want to let that cure real good so that when I'm moving those boards around, it's not putting light scratches in that concrete. I figure about a week and then I'll start tilting walls up on the house. So it gives me a week to build a chicken coop and make a chicken run cut a hole right here in this to go into the chicken coop and then have another chicken coop door that goes out into the chicken run. Hopefully I get this all done. I seem to be nonstop 100 miles an hour getting things done around here, trying, trying to at least. If I do have time after I make the chicken coop and the chicken run, I'd like to get some dirt in some of these grow beds, make a couple more grow beds, see if we can get maybe some of the stuff started that's going to be able to go into the fall months when it gets a little cooler. Get some stuff growing in here. It would be nice to grow some of our own food this year. But I'll give you a little bit closer look. This hinge here, standard gate hinge. This is a little modification I made because this little hinge piece right here, it's made for a wooden gate. You screw it down to one of the sides of the wooden gate and it goes over and latches in here standard latch but I had no way of attaching this to metal bar so I come up with just drilling a hole putting a bolt tightening two nuts up on either side and that goes right in there latch is just fine until next time guys go make something And you know what I forgot? If I'm on the other side of this wall, how am I going to open that latch? Well, I guess I run a little piece of wire through there for now. I'll have to figure something out because that's not going to work. Can't exactly get my hand through there to open that. We'll figure something out.